Welcome to my channel, I'm Sanne and today we are going to be talking about iris scented perfumes. I have been on an iris kick lately, so I have a lot of fragrances to show you today. To me, iris feels really dreamy, ethereal and radiates that old money vibe. As you may know, iris adds powdery, root-like, slightly earthy nuances to a fragrance. It also has been associated with elegance and opulence. I hope you will enjoy this video. Let's jump in. Let's start with the most affordable one and the one that got me into this flower in the first place and it's Prada Infusion de Iris. Sophisticated and classy, this scent is giving me old money vibes. It radiates wealth, it radiates sophistication and class. And also you can get it for a pretty affordable price as it's a designer scent. The iris here is called a bit standoffish yet comforting. It makes one feel at peace. This is my second bottle as it's truly an easy grab. It opens up with notes of mandarin, orange blossom, galbanum, followed by iris, cedar and vetiver. And in the base you will be met with incense and benzene. It has this comforting quality about it, definitely. Moderate projection, but the longevity is quite good. So Infusion Diris by Frada. Next we have a classy one and it's La Pausa by Chanel. As you can see, I have a pretty good dent as it has been my bedtime scent, one of my favorites. Picture yourself wrapped in a cozy blanket of lavender and iris, accompanied by a soft whisper of musk. Luxurious scent with an opulent vibe. It also radiates tranquility and serenity. La Pausa has been inspired by the villa of Gabrielle Chanel in French Riviera where she went to unwind from her work in Paris. So it's no surprise that it radiates this sense of well-being, this sense of peace, a zen mode. But you know how it is, we get the best inspiration, the best insights when we are being still, when we are taking a pause. La Pausa by Chanel, an ethereal, classy, slightly mature iris. The next one is Iris Malikan by Maison Crivelli and I think the hype here is well deserved. A captivating fragrance that seamlessly blends the timeless elegance of Iris with the modern twist, sophisticated warm, gourmand leaning Iris with praline accords. But the opening might be a bit brow rising as there's a juicy green galbanum in the opening. A very aromatic blend with that effortlessly chic vibe. I can see it being an all year round staple, definitely value for money. Even the smallest size bottle will last you for a long time. It lasts and lasts and projects and you will be able to notice around yourself all day and, or all night. It's a compliment getter as well. So Iris Malikan by Maison Crivelli. Next we have Tapis Volant by Leleki de Magener. In translation it means the flying carpet and the perfumer here is Quentin Bish. Here's a quick backstory. Um, it was a blind buy and when I first received it I dosed myself in it and went on with my day. And I was kind of disappointed because I couldn't really understand the blend and I thought it doesn't last at all. But I was wrong. As the day progressed I started getting mild whiffs of fresh citrusy iris and then I understood totally the name is the flying carpet so it's one of those scents that is always around you it vanishes it appears but it really is flying around you and you're like in a veil of this wonderful scent and now as the time has gone by I get so many nuances here this is a very nuanced scent. It will be appreciated by those who enjoy transparent, lightweight type of scents, but it's a persistent one. It just doesn't weight you down, you know? It's easy to wear, easy to like, it feels refreshing. I immediately feel more energized when I'm wearing it. Tapis Volant 
is a blend of iris, citruses, vetiver. I also get lilacs. I also get lily of the valley, jasmine, a fluffy musk, ambroxan. To me, it smells like a garden after a heavy rain, that cold freshness. If you enjoy catching gentle, brief whiffs of your scent throughout the day, definitely sample it. So Tapis Volant by Leliki Dimachenaire. Unexpected love. And I feel it will be superb in the springtime, you know, when the nature is waking up. The next, we have Eyes Closed by Bayredo. And here the iris is very texturized, chalky, powdery, with a large dose of warm cinnamon. I really appreciate this balance of cold iris and warm spices. It smells contemporary, sophisticated. And oddly enough, I sometimes get like a carrot cake accord and also something lipsticky depending on the weather outside. The longevity on my skin is average, but it really lasts well on closing. And as you can see, I have put in quite a big dent. And now I understand why it's called eyes closed. You really want to close your eyes to cut out all the outside distractions to really fully enjoy the scent. Yeah, so eyes closed by Bayredo, your city chic scent. This beautiful note has so many facets, and so my next pick is Putain de Palace by Etat Libre de Orange. Radiates this cleanness, it's super powdery, somewhat creamy, even a complex and sensual scent. It combines floral and spicy elements and a touch of leather, something naughty about it. It makes me think of a femme fatale with a fragile heart dressed in white lace. There's a touch of lipstick, there's a touch of face powder, and uh, there's also an accord of rice powder. I would also call it a provocative kind of scent. The name already hints at its bold and unusual character. Bhutan de Palace is one of the strongest pregnancies in my whole collection. Yeah, if you're looking for something powdery, very feminine and fierce at the same time, check out Bhutan de Palace by Etat Libre d'Orange. The next one is Gris Chanel by BDK Parfum. And I have this travel size bottle, which I feel will last me for a while, as it's a potent one. Sandalwood and iris is a match made in heaven. It's a blend of iris, sandalwood, black tea, cardamom, vanilla and tonka beans. There's also fig. Yeah, I really appreciate this earl grey black tea nuance. I also smell ginger here. The sandalwood here is creamy. And on my skin, the cardamom feels very lush and green. A calming, uplifting, very comforting one. It's like a hug in a bottle, a hyped it girl fragrance, but I feel it's totally unisex. It deserves the hype it gets. So Gris Chanel by BDK Parfum. My next pick is Shergi by Sejal Tans, where the iris is adding a slightly melancholic touch here. And yeah, iris can have this bit melancholic, sad vibe when it comes to pregnancies. I think it only adds to the whole composition, you know, the whole vibe, the whole character of the blend. It's a powdery iris with sweet honey tobacco with vanilla. There's also a unique accord of hay. Shergi radiates this sense of peace. I always reach for it when I'm a bit all over the place and I'm looking for something grounding that will bring me back to this present moment, to the here and now. It almost has like a cold following. So high five to my Shergi lovers. And that was Shergi by Sergio Tanz. Next we have Baguera by Malbrum. And this is a Norwegian niche house. So you know, it's that extra special to me personally. And Baguera is a blend where the iris really is showing off its suede leather quality. It's also a scent with the texture. In the opening, the iris feels slightly metallic, a bit industrial. But uh, as the cassis and blackberry joins the party, it really gets more fruity and uplifting. 
and in the very dry down it gets really creamy and vanillic but not in a gourmand type of way it's not a sweet scent full bodied well rounded i can see it on all genders if you love that leathery iris with some fruity touches then uh, definitely sample Baguera by Malbrum. Great lasting power. Next is an honorable mention and it's by Naomi Gutzer, Iris Sonder. It's one of the most artsy iris scents that I have experienced and in the translation it means the ash of iris called ashy iris with a touch of tobacco, orris butter, violet and leather. I would even call it a scent for an ice queen. Very peculiar, very icy and for me personally it's kind of hard to wear it because I feel almost cold when I'm wearing it. It's definitely art in a bottle as all of her fragrances and that was Iris Sonder by Naomi Gutzer. And last but not least, my beloved Samsara by Guerlain in Eau de Toilette concentration. This is the old B bottle, but I have tested the new reformulation and I feel it's even better, it's even more modern and um, sparkly. And this is a very dreamy, unicorn kind of a scent made for daydreamers. It's slightly mature. The iris here is powdery, together with the creamy sandalwood ylang ylang, sweetened by vanilla, opulent royal feel scent. And oddly enough, samsara is the only scent that I can wear when I'm experiencing migraines. I feel it's due to the sandalwood here, which has this calming quality about it. If you want something timeless, something Royal, definitely check out Samsara by Gerla. So this was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will leave me a comment of your favorite iris scent in your collection. And yeah, see you in my next one. Bye.